Okay, I am changing out. Changing out or replacing these gas spring shocks. Thingamadoodles. So, me being a guy guy, I went and got some tools and I'm trying to turn this and the whole thing is turning. Haven't read no instructions, but there are no instructions on here. So I figured it can't be that simple. I mean, it can't be that hard. And I almost got my eye poked. Because there's like a little locking piece is spring loaded and it popped out and shot out and then it came right off probably the same thing on the bottom I've never done it before or never YouTubed it And if it did have instructions, I probably wouldn't have read them until I couldn't figure something out, you know. I don't know if that's a guy thing or that's just a me being lazy thing. So I'm like, it can't be that hard. Let's see, can I do this other one the same way? There you go. Oh, it popped. And there it go. It just popped off. And there it is. And it just falls down. So let's see. Um... I'm a rah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Oh, it just pushes on there. How, how you, how you doing? It just pushes on there. How, how cool is that? Like G.I. Joe, knowing is half the battle. Knowing is half the battle. So, it has these little rings and it just you see it this mug is just wore I should have been replaced these sad huh just take it for granted that it's it start falling on my head and then now I want to fix it so don't wait till the last minute to fix your stuff don't be like this guy here but for those who know me know that hey he's actually working on something I don't do that a whole lot I don't do it a whole lot So they say, yeah, you can save yourself a whole lot of money by working on it yourself or cost yourself a whole lot of money by tearing something up, which I'm known to do. I'm known to make it worse when they say you should have brought it in. So, so I figured if I'm, a spend, if I'm making the money, I better get an extra load so I can pay that bill. <laughs> I better take an extra load. So let me show off someone like, like what are you doing, you knucklehead? Since you got the camera here, show us what you're doing. So there is, let me see, I can't really see. Hold on, I got, I have my little safety glasses on so I won't pop myself in the eye. See, and then what I did, I need some more light, can you actually see? And I just pulled it open like this right here. And it, it, it pop, it'll pop out, boop. It'll just pop out, bam. The same thing over there, it'll just drop down just like that, so. I'm gonna try to do it, and hopefully it won't hit my camera. I'm gonna try to do it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You know what? Let's use one of these, one of these placard covers. How about that? I use a placard cover, and I do it to a point to it just about shoot out. It may, it may, it may pop on my, well, it might not pop on my head. And we go listen to the pop. It's gonna pop off. Yep, there you go. And it fell. Where did it fall to? Where did it go right here? It's popped off. And it'll come right off. We're gonna do the same thing up top. Let me tip my camera. Where well, I do it this way where you can see. Can you see? Let me get it. Let me situate it here. 
tell it up. Can you see that? Oh, I can't see what for darn. As I've gotten old, I can't just see like I used to. Can't see like I used to. I'm gonna tilt it up. Hopefully you can get a good view. I hope. And if not, I'm not gonna worry about releasing this footage. So I'm just gonna put it in like this. And just, it's gonna pop. Watch it. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, hold up. Let, me, let me position the camera where you can actually see. See how I just pull it open? I'm just gonna pull it. I can't see. Okay, where my thing? Okay, there. I can see. And I'm just gonna, it's gonna pop. Oop, see it popped up? <laughs> and it shot on the ground. Blow your head off. So it's gonna stay up because I got the other new one on. And I got the other one here. It shouldn't have taken me five years to do this, but sad. So I'm gonna take the bottom one off. Oops, then it, then it falls down when I took it off. So we're gonna pop. Actually, I'm gonna pop the bottom one in first. Let me turn where you can see. I'm just gonna push it in. You just push on like that. Okay. Hopefully you can get a good visual because I can't see. And then we're gonna put the top one on. Hold up. And it just, whoops, it just pushed on. It just pushed on, pop, it just popped on. And there it is. There it is. Oh my goodness, that's nice and sturdy. Nice and sturdy, hold up. I got the thing pointed in the air, the camera. Let me see, can you see it now? So there you go. Pop. Hey, no more falling on my head. It shouldn't have took all that, but I'm kind of sad. And this is it. This was the big corporate here. It was leaking and so that's it. So how to replace, I don't know how long I'm going to labor this. I may do it replacing my, what is this thing called again? It is called gas spring. That's all it's called. Just gas spring for my compartment door. So that's it. Ah. So the next task is going to be. Hey, I'm in a zone this morning. I'm in a zone, 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 zone. So now I'm going to replace this line that's leaking. I'm going to try to film it as well. We're going to replace this line here. Well, this um, elbow, this 90 degree elbow. I'm going to replace it. This actually just pops on. Get it on. This just actually pops on. And I bought me a little hacksaw from Walmart. I'm going to cut the line. I got some spare blades. Once again, you know we overdo it. Spare blades here. And we're going to cut the line and pop that on, screw it down, whatever, and go from there. All right. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Because whenever I work on something, that's never a good thing when I work on something. I keep it real. In life, you got to know your strengths and you got to know your weaknesses. And, um, yeah. And of course, having the, the, the motivation and the inspiration to actually do it. But we're going to get it done. And then after that, we're going to replace some air filters. We're finished. I need to wash her up, but it's cold. I'll probably wash her up on Christmas Day, where everybody's enjoying Christmas. I'm going to come out here and wash my truck up on Christmas Day and get ready for Tuesday load. And, I'm gonna do, and probably do some, um, probably going to go back and do some lubing on the truck and see. Because I, I had a lube job done, but I always want to go behind the people that do the lube job. This last one, Volvo did the last, the last one. Imagine, imagine the last two. Not the last one. I know Volvo was on the last one. So I go back and see what all they miss as far as lubing everything up. We're going to get a lube. Hopefully it's not raining or anything. And even if it's ill, you may get some work done. We're not trying to get sick out here. So once again, this was changing out the spring gasket, whatever it's called. The spring... My, my memory sucks. Gas spring. 
for my compartment door. And the next time we're gonna do some spring cleaning cause my last DOT inspection, he was like, wow. But I still, I still pass with level one inspection. Hey, y'all be great. Subscribe to the channel. Go check out some more videos and help the channel grow so I can entertain you some more. You can talk about me, comment, grow with me while we continue to be great. Now give me your face. Boop, boop.